All right, so you are a homeowner. Um, how would you describe the structure that you live in? Like, is it a, a single family? Single family home, home. yes. Okay, so, and, um, yeah, single family detached, right? Yes. It's a standalone house. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long have you um, lived there? What, like, what, approximately the date that you moved in? Since January 2018. Okay. And have you always lived uh, like in Magintosh County? No. I like that a lot. I don't no. Live. Okay. Um, where where all have you lived? Brunswick, St. Simons. Brunswick and St. Simons. Brunswick and St. Simons. Yeah. So, Glen County. Right. Okay. So um, in um, this coastal region where we are located. Yes. Okay. Um, how long has your family lived in this area? Like multiple 60, generations? 60 years. Or? No, just 60 years. Okay, just about my 60 parents. years. Yeah. Okay, so your parents were the first generation mm -hmm. to live in this area? Yeah. And how did they come to live here? Uh, my dad's job. Okay, dad's job brought you here? Okay. Yeah, so, um, so I've just moved to the area in... December this past year, so I haven't been here very long, but my job also brought me here. Yay. <laughs> We're glad. Um, and I'm renting it's an apartment um, that's a, like an above the garage apartment, but it's nice that it's on the water. Tell me um, about your experience with rooftop solar power. Have you ever lived in any? No, no the only experience I can recall is when I did property management mm -hmm. one of our homeowners in an HOA on St. Simons um, when you live in an HOA there's something called the um, oh, the architectural review board mm -hmm. so any changes to your house has to go through the review board it has to be approved and they wanted to install solar panels on their roof that was the first time I'd heard about it, probably two years ago, actually. Okay. And they did. They got approved, and um, they put them on top of the shingles. It was these big panels. Um, it was a, and that's all I know about it. Okay. And yeah. now that, that was a home in that was, Glenn County. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so... Um, so you have never lived in a in a home with rooftop solar, um, or chosen? Have you ever chosen to invest in rooftop solar? No, no. And then there's um, like some utilities now have like a buy-in option where you can select to be part of their like solar cooperative. Are you familiar with that? No, I'm not at all familiar with that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not everywhere. In it's not it's relatively small Is still, it, but yeah. some places offer it. I'm not even sure if they offer it here because I don't pay utilities here. I haven't seen anything on Georgia Power, but it's electronic billing. It just gets drafted, so I'm not getting mm -hmm. their bill with any kind of newsletter in it. Okay. Well, have you ever considered having rooftop solar for your own residence? Not yet not yet <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah not yet I didn't before right um, I might in the future depending on what I learn but mm -hmm. it's never been a thought at it's all just, it hasn't yeah. been a thought okay no. and you really don't see it <laughs> yeah that's true you don't really see it here so on that note of not seeing it here and you kind of just hearing about it for the first time um in Glenn County, because of your work with the Homeowners Association, now I'm going to ask you some questions about, like, where where do you think rooftop solar exists or happens? So we're actually, you're going to get to do some drawing and writing, so now you're going to need the pen. Um, so on that map of the U.S., um, you can you know, you can mark with like dots or highlights or, you know, write alongside it notes. Um, where in, in the United States do you think rooftop solar exists? Like where do you think people are most likely to have solar for their homes? I think it would be all over, but I guess California would be a good place for me to think there's more of it than anywhere else. And why is that? Um, 
I sort of remember a story I read, but I can't recall the details about their building regulations out there. Okay. Okay. So any other, you can mark as many places yeah, as you I think mean, there would be. Um, like I said, I would think that every state would have someone in the state, but, okay, so I know there's some in Georgia. Um, that's as far as I can go unless I, I mean, I don't know where any is, I guess. Um, well, that's okay. You could make notes on there of what you just said of, like, at, at least some in every state. Okay. Um, and then kind of any, any of those other generalizations that you were thinking. I really do think there'd be some in every state. I mean, somebody's got solar panels. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And could you make a note over there by California that you said it had, um, you thought it had to do with um, their building um, codes? All right. Okay, I'll take that map back, and you'll get another one in a second. But. Um, so do you know anyone who has rooftop solar? Is it, I know you said you kind of just became familiar uh, with it, but if can you I think of that. any friends or family in the state or anywhere? That no, I don't know anybody. anybody. Okay. All right, so now similar to what you just did with the U.S. map, this is the Georgia map. Um, so just if you were to um, just guess, um, what parts of the state do you think would have the highest concentration of solar? Well, I can only go by what I've seen. And I know that there's a house on St. Simons, which should be this county right here. And then there's a field on Harry Driggers Road that's full of solar panels. Oh, so okay. I've seen those in two. Glen, those are in Glen, Glen County. County. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. I don't know of anything else. So, what else do I need to mark on here? Uh, yeah, so you just think about, like, thinking about what you know about the state of Georgia and types of either either uh, physical, geographic um, parts of Georgia that would maybe um, be more suitable for solar, so there might be solar there, or the types of people that live in different parts of the state that you think would adopt solar. Where would you assume that solar might be you know more concentrated in the state of Georgia or just exist at all <laughs> yeah I would probably think maybe in the larger cities um, the more prominent neighborhoods I'm not, I don't know if solar going solar is a big investment or not so yeah, I don't know don't if I can really base know it what the cost is yeah yeah, remember, there are no right or wrong answers. Yeah. This is just like, where would you think it would occur? So you can, yes, you can mark those I'll city just, areas where you thought yeah. or... Just thinking, I mean, without knowing, I'm thinking it's quite an investment probably to do the switch over if you're already a roof tom and you've got to purchase the solar panel. So I would think that maybe higher income areas would okay. so I'll just circle cities because you're going to have professionals in all the cities okay and then the coastal resort area okay that's all I know okay do you think there are any um like characteristics of uh, like are there certain types of people that are going to adopt solar? Yeah, um, probably people wanting to be more energy efficient and cost efficient and using our natural, well, our sunlight, I do. And I can see the benefit of it, but um, saying that and doing that's two different things. <laughs> yeah, do you, what yeah. do you think are hurdles to preventing I don't think... Solar adoption. Well, nobody knows about it. I mean, I don't know about it, really, yeah. just except for those things I've seen. So maybe education, okay. I think. Um, and maybe expense. You said you don't really yeah. know how much expense it is, but you kind of have a feeling that it might be I know a it'd fairly be an investment. expensive investment. Yeah, I'm thinking it would be an investment, and just not your everyday homeowner might not be able to do that. 
Okay. Um, all right, so that's our, our uh, you know, that pretty much wraps it up on our questions about solar, unless you had any other thoughts to share mm -hmm. on your experience with it, or... No. Okay, great. Well, thanks for answering those questions, and now we have a few more questions about um, food access. Okay. Um, so... Um, can you just describe for me kind of your daily food routine? Like what, what meals do you eat? Like, I eat breakfast, like, lunch, and dinner. Kind um, of a regular time, you know, kind of like standard routine time. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much yeah. based on my work schedule. Okay. Dinner is no later than usually 7 or 7.30. I don't like to eat too late. Okay. Can you describe your your meals or snacks? Mm-hmm. Um, breakfast, I'll have usually a boiled egg or some fruit. Lunch is a salad or a sandwich. I like fresh vegetables. I like fish. I don't eat a lot of processed food. Try not to. And dinner is usually a meat and a veggie. Um, don't eat out a whole lot, but I like to because it means I don't have to cook. Um, don't eat any canned food hardly at all. Um, so basically try to buy fresh veggies and fresh meat or frozen frozen fish. If I can find wild wild salmon frozen, I'll get that. But um usually just fresh. Okay. Um, and are you I do eat the little cans of tuna. They're yeah, canned. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you typically um preparing meals just for yourself or for or sharing meal your meals with other people or just me and my mom and John. Yeah. That's it. Okay. It's either the two of us or the three of us. Okay. That's and it. Those meals. And are you And that's only dinner. That's okay only for dinner. Yeah. Dinner you have uh, so you typically eat dinner with your mom and your husband mm -hmm. and lunch and breakfast you're on your own. On my own typically. Yeah. Okay. Do you um, tend to snack during the day? I do. What do you snack on? I like cashews. I like pistachios. I like cheese sticks. And I like beef jerky. Okay. And dill pickles. Okay. Nice. Um, let's see. Does that sound good? <laughs> um, yeah, I was having a... I didn't... I had a big lunch yesterday, so I just had... Um, I made a piece of toast and put some... Uh, raspberry jam on it with some sharp cheddar cheese mm. um, and as I was eating it I was thinking you know this really needs a pickle <laughs> <laughs> did you really <laughs> but I don't, I just had a pickle I don't have morning. any of the the pickled chips at home you know but I don't think I put a pickle on that mix. Yeah, I know. It's uh, kind of weird, but that's kind of a Van Cantport family um, okay. uh, snack is to have, not the jam part, but uh, my, my parents like to make cheese and cracker plates, and, and yeah. we always have, like, a cracker, a piece of cheese, and a pickle. Okay. I love together. cheese. Yeah, I love so, cheese. and then I, I am the weird one that then will add also a jam or something to that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I, I did that, that for a, a friend's get-together where I brought cheese crackers a fig jam but it was kind of a more savory fig mm -hmm. jam and the pickle and they loved it wow I've but never yeah it's had one of those that like yeah people are like mm, no, it's not going to think to put that, that together problem. um so yeah um so uh who is the primary um food preparer it's about 50 50 probably more me but John does the meat cooking. Okay. So you and like your husband. Cook, I don't like to cook meat. Okay. And what about the food shopping? Me. Well, no, wait. We'll, we'll both do it. Yeah, we'll both do it. I'm mostly the food shopper. Okay. But he will, he will shop. Um, okay, so this... Um, you already explained a lot about your food choices and kind of what you prefer to eat, like trying to avoid processed foods and wanting fresh. Um, uh, with, when you're actually at the store, like shopping, what are other factors that go into what you choose to buy? Fresh. I usually only buy something fresh. Um, don't eat any frozen vegetables. I know they're probably good, but I don't like them. So I kind of make my picks on... What looks good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you have like are you a, a brand loyalist or do you just go with what's cheapest or is it or is the price does it matter? You just buy what there was um, on your list. Or? I buy what's on my list. Um, some things are brand shopping because I've tried the off brand on some things and some brands are better. Um, yeah, what was the rest of that question? I just I was just giving yeah. some suggestions of like things that influence what you buy. Like, is it? It's the visual. I mean, it's a visual thing, I okay. guess. So, um, the cost of the items isn't usually a huge. I pay attention to it, but if if one item looks better or or sounds better on the label than the other, whichever one appears better is the one I'm going to buy. Hopefully, it's not out of my price range. Okay. And because healthy foods cost more, <laughs> healthier yes. foods cost more. Yeah. What um, What is your style of grocery shopping? Like when you walk in the store, how do you? I hit the outside lines. I hardly ever go down the road unless I need detergents or something okay so you yeah. just go to those middle rows if you know you need something on you you don't go do the winding up and down every aisle shopping mm -mm. stay on the perimeter mm -hmm. okay. i usually try to have a mental list too so yeah um, yeah once a month i'll kind of do that aisle thing because i'll remember that i need something that's not on my list but that's not usually my game i go in and just get what i need and get out and it's usually on the outside edges Mm -hmm. The outside aisles. Okay. Um, and you already mentioned earlier, I think I asked this question earlier, how often you food shop. You said about twice a week, right? Okay. And uh, so as far as when, with feeding yourself or your family, um, are there any challenges that you face with that? And that could be that could be financial. It could be dietary restrictions. It could be access to things in our area. Well, no, not really. I wish we had a closer seafood market in Darien, but that's just for my personal preference. I don't like going out to Yolanda. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the other seafood store I know about's all the way in Brunswick, so I have to kind of plan yeah. ahead with my fish. Oh, my shrimp.